the square root of x minus a is equal to x minus 4. If a equals 2, what is the solution set of the equation above? So we'll just write in uh, a equals 2 right there. So there's 2. All right, now some people might enjoy the complication of squaring both sides and turning this into a quadratic equation, blah, 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 blah. But why don't we just plug in our values, right? Why don't we just plug in the values that the answer options give us, and from there we'll decide which one is correct. So we'll start with answer option A. Answer option A says, answer option A says there are two solutions, 3 and 6. If I plug in 3, what do I get? Well, I get the square root of 3 minus 2. So that's the square root of 3 minus 2, or the square root of 1, is equal to 3 minus 4. That is, the square root of 1 is equal to negative 1. And again, some folks at this point might say, well, yeah, because negative 1 squared is equal to 1. But, and this is very important, the square root symbol, by definition, is the principal square root. It's asking for the positive square root. So if you see this on the test, if you see the square root of 1, it's not plus or minus 1, it's just 1. Meaning that A is not correct and neither is C. Okay, how about answer option B? If I plug in 2, then I get 2 minus uh, 2 is 0, and 2 minus 4 is negative 2. Well, that's not equal. But if I plug in 6, then I get the correct answer, right? I find that the square root of 6 minus 2 is equal to 6 minus 4. Square root of 6 minus 2 is uh, square root of 4, a.k.a. 2, and 6 minus 4 is 2. So the correct answer here is D. For more GRE tips and tricks, or to sign up for my live online course, follow the link on my profile.